I'm just having one of those days. This morning I went on a walk and it was fine. And then it's 1 p.m. and I'm having that like little afternoon dip. I feel the pressy stressy. We're making tea. Tea always makes me feel better. I wanted to share with you guys a more in-depth update about how I feel in my career, my life. Just because in my last video, I came with a bold statement saying I was depressed and in a feral mood, um, which I still am, but it's improving day by day. There's this book I'm reading called The Artist's Way, and it was saying to do like a little life evaluation by drawing a circle, dividing it by six, and filling these six categories and assessing how you feel in each category, okay? You want to draw a dot on how you feel in each category. The closer to the edge, the more fulfilled you are. The closer to the center, the less fulfilled. We're gonna do this together and feel free to join along with me, okay? Spirituality. I feel very in tune with my mental and emotional health. I feel sometimes lost, but generally, like, I'm very in tune with, like, my emotions and what I'm feeling. Mostly because of therapy. So I'm gonna give myself a pretty high rating on spirituality. I feel like I'm pretty spiritual. For exercise, I'm gonna give myself a very generous point here just because I literally surf, train, and like bike every single day. Okay, play is interesting because I feel like playing is like allowing yourself to be creative, to be free. I'm gonna give myself a middle point just because I feel like sometimes I don't allow myself to be fully creative because I judge myself. All right, the work one. Oh my God. I'm gonna give myself a pretty lower score just because although I got paid last month for my two brand deals, I always feel like I'm not doing enough. Friends, I'm gonna give myself something in the middle, and romance and adventure, I would say something in higher upper middle too. And what's interesting about this exercise is they say you wanna connect the dots to see how lopsided your circle is, and we're gonna to get to that. All right. So if you can see here, we can see that my circle, or my current sense of self, is a little skewed towards more of these areas, and where I need to work on more play, more work, and more friend time. So that is what it looks like. And the reason why I want to start off this video that way is just because I feel like as a creative, as an entrepreneur, it is so easy to be like, my entire life is work. My entire de definition of myself is work. And that's how I've been ever since I dropped out of high school. Like ever since five years ago, I dropped out. I was so defiant on work. Like my happiness would be work. If I don't have enough money, I would be upset. Like it was so work with my son. Guys, I literally can't. I just looked at my phone of old photos of me talking about hustling and grinding. And this is the shit I used to post unironically. Take a look. This is proof that I was obsessed with work, okay? Posting a 5 a.m. selfie, hustle and grind. Tempted to name my kids, hustle and grind. I posted this on my story for everyone to see. This too. I, I can't believe it. I even got a drink that said hustle. I said that I'm taken by my goals and hustles and to top it all off, I have this wonderful quote. And I think it's important to see the bigger picture and that's what I'm working on. To like, yes, improve my career, yes, make that money, but like also improve the other parts that are just as important. Why does this bitch take so long? Show you guys this every time, but it's because I'm so passionate. This is my favorite matcha ever. It's the Everyday Matcha by Rishi. You know what? I have a meeting in like two hours and I need to get out of this funk because like, I don't want to be like, hi, my name is Jade on the meeting because that's how I feel. I feel like I'm just having anxiety today. <sighs> this is like the small source of dopamine I get throughout my day that I live for. Like buying things and then forgetting that you bought something and then arriving to your house is like the best feeling ever. Ooh, okay, as you guys know, I surf. Um, duh. Duh, <laughs> literally. I got a new surfboard. You guys probably saw my last video, but I bought a sock for it. And if you guys don't know, a sock for your surfboard is basically to protect it from dings and like dropping it. So it literally, it's like, it's a giant sock. Like it is a, this is a nine foot sock. I'm thinking to go to San Diego to surf tomorrow because I think what's lacking and what's contributing to the fact that I've been a pretty stressed and, and depressed is because I haven't been surfing and it's mainly because the waves aren't really good where I live right now So we're gonna we're gonna make a change. I feel like surfing is like the place where like I really reflect about my life and like sit in the water and just like 
just like be in nature. It's like it's like literally the best thing ever. Oh my god. Literally look how beautiful she is. Ah! Alright. Oh my god. Be careful with the fence. Hey, we put the sock on it. I need to stop driving and vlogging. Like really, like I need to. Hello everybody, good morning. It is the next day, it is 7 a.m. I'm going to San Onofre State Beach, which is like an hour away surf spot from where I live. And I did not sleep last night. I think I'm on my period. I think that's why I'm so stressed, depressy. But yeah, I did not sleep. I literally woke up at 2.30 a.m. and um, didn't go back to bed. Just I just woke up and now I'm up and about. I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the title of this video, how it's been after dropping out of school for five years. Um, and in order to explain what I feel about it, I think there's this concept in this book I'm reading, I, I mentioned this in the beginning, and it was saying that most people become shadowed artists. And what that means is instead of pursuing the dream you want to, you go for other shadowing careers that are near the field. So for example, like lawyers, you might go into law because maybe you want to be an actor, but your parents didn't believe in you, so you go and be a lawyer, right? It's a more respected field, quote unquote. Or, you know, you wanted to be an artist. You wanted to sing, but instead you went into artist management. When I was reading this book, like a few days ago, I was like, damn. It took me a long time to like get out of my shadowed artist phase and like I'm not fully out of it. When I dropped out of high school, I wanted to be a YouTuber. Like I wanted to create content, build my brands, and like I wanted to be the brand, you know what I mean? But in order to make money, I kind of went into my shadowed artist and I started my agency. And I did marketing for other companies. Like I did consulting and work for other brands, which I love. Like I am so grateful because that's what brought me to where I am. Like, that's not my true potential, you know what I mean? So like, I think now I'm realizing I spent the past year really focusing on building my surfing content and like my brand and trying to get out of the shadow artist place, but I'm still holding on to like my agency work. So I think what's causing my stress slash depression is like, knowing that I want to do something greater, like start my own brand and stuff, but not doing it. Yeah, I mean like, I just think it's interesting because like I dropped out of high school to pursue my dreams and yet I'm still, like although I'm on paper made it, like I moved out from my parents' house, I financially support myself, I live in LA, I feel like I still have a ways to go. We have arrived. We have arrived to San Onofre State Beach. We can see here, it is gloomy as fuck. Literally raining. It's raining, don't love that, but the vibes are still high. I am so tired, I, I literally am like shaking. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot, but it's okay. We're gonna have fun. I'm gonna change and then wax my board and then I'll see you guys in the water. I have some friends that are actually here, which is super rare. I usually go surfing alone, but I have my friend CJ, other friends from my neighborhood. Mark, I'm so stoked. The waves look a little small, but they look a little fun. fucking fun I just had a blast with my friends it was just like feeling I just felt like I was connected to my inner child and like that's something I need to do more and I think I was reflecting yesterday but I think I'm not allowing myself to play and have like this inner child relationship and like do things that are fun or considered maybe unproductive but make me happy and I feel like today was just really healing and really fun and I feel so much better I think like towards my point earlier that shout out artist is I think coming from the fact of like as humans, we don't allow ourselves to connect with our inner child, and that's pushing ourselves more into a shadow artist, which is the actual artist itself. Yeah, I was just really inspired, really happy, and I'm just, I'm just smiling. It's so fun. I'm gonna hang out with my friends more. We're just like drinking and like vibing, and then I'm gonna drive back home. But yeah, this was just a really fun healing day. <laughs> I love surfing. You guys need to go surfing or just like hike or something. Just like go outside with friends. Like. Literally the best thing ever. This 
This is really bad. I could be a bad bad dude for a weekend. It's gonna be forever. Or it's gonna go down in flames. This time it's over. And if I was with the pain, I'd have played space, baby. And I'll write your name. Oh man, how's it looking out there? Shout out to the caught the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.